Welcome back to Firestorm Games, and you're joining us as we take a look at one of Games Workshop's latest releases for Necromunda, the Corridor Redemptionist Kit. As always, we'll be building a few of the models from the kit whilst talking about its features and how it looks before taking a look at some of the assembled models. So, let's get started. The Corridor Redemptionists are a continuation of the house expansion kits for Necromunda. We've already seen four of the other houses fleshed out with these sets, and now House Corridor are getting their turn. This kit comes with enough components to build six miniatures in total. These are broken down across two identical sprues that allow you to build two Redemptor Priests, two Deacons, and two Zealots. Alternatively, you can build all six of the models as a Brethren instead. The set follows a similar vein to that of those previous gang expansions, being a combination of both elite gang members and lower standing gangers. However, whereas the previous expansions have kept that gang style and simply expanded upon, the Redemptionists are a little different. In the lore of Necromunda, House Cordor is effectively controlled by the Redemptionists. They are an extreme religious sect that take their belief of the Imperial Creed to an even higher level of fanaticism than the Imperial Ecclesiarchy. Their aims are to redeem themselves, the Hive, and mankind at large, which has led to their name, the Redemptionists. They seek out and eliminate, with extreme prejudice, three particular sins mutations, psychers, and heresy in general, and they do this with copious amounts of chain weaponry and good old cleansing flame. Their appearance is very much in line with the original range of Redemptionists, with modest robes forming the basis of their attire. They are much less ragged than other Cordor gangers, but they don't support the ostentatious trappings of the Imperial Priesthood either. So, as I've already mentioned, there are a few different types of ganger that you can build from this kit. Your basic ganger is the Brethren. These fighters carry more common equipment and can be armed with auto guns and shotguns, both featuring undersong flamethrowers, of course, or a pair of auto pistols. Their clothing is also the most simplistic too, with each featuring a brazier inspired metal collar and the half face masks reminiscent of those worn by regular cordial gangers. Bringing to bear some heavier weaponry are the Deacon and the Zealot. The Zealot is a Juve, and their choice of weaponry is a giant eviscerator, with a small flamer strapped to it for good measure. The Deacon, on the other hand, comes equipped with a two-handed flamer called the Fire Pike. But his love of flames doesn't end there, because atop his head, he wears a flaming crown. Not to be outdone, though, the Redemptor Priest also sports some flaming headgear. This gang champion displays a status with the most ostentatious looking robes of the gang, whilst also carrying a chain axe and a holy tome. So how does the kit work? Well, each of the two sprues in this kit contains three basic bodies, each of which has two different building options. The various shoulders, heads and arms are then added to these to create the different archetypes, but beyond that there isn't much in the way of customization. You can assemble all possible model variants from a single kit, with the exception of a couple of head swaps for the Brethren. That's all you get. But while the customization is lacking, you do end up with a whole bunch of spare bits that are perfect for kit bashing. Which brings me to the other uses of the kit too. With a little tweaking here and there, this set is perfect for proxying them as Chaos Cultists, or even Priests to accompany your Astra Militarum or Sisters of Battle Forces. So, even if you're not a Necromunda player, there is something for you here. And here we have some of the assembled Redemptionists. Overall, it's a great kit for expanding you out to your Underhive gang, giving you a few different tactical avenues as well as some interesting options to use outside of Necromunda 2. Now, whilst this gang expansion is priced the same as other higher model count gangs, it does feature fewer miniatures, which make it a little less economical. But personally, to get a hold of those cool looking bits inside it, it's definitely worth picking up at least one. If you're looking to pick up this kit for yourself, you'll be able to save yourself a little money as you'll find this kit with at least 10% off the RRP on the Firestorm Games web store, which you can find a link to in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave your comments and subscribe to be kept up to date with all of our future videos. And so we just want to say a big thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.